Howdy folks, how are you on this fine day? It's your friend Alan here from drumgrades.com. Today we're on page eight of the Trinity Rock and Pop grade five book. We're looking at the tune Wood by Alice in Chains, who were an awesome grunge rock band, quite popular around the 90s. Think that era when Nirvana and bands like that were really popular. These guys were also pretty huge and Wood was one of their biggest hits and from a drum point of view, really cool. Loads of awesome parts which I'm hopefully going to teach you now. So let's get down to business. It's a grunge rock song. It's 100 BPM, so quite a medium tempo. So you want to be careful not to rush in places here, guys, and just sit back and lock into the timekeeping nicely. The introduction, the first four bars, we have a really cool tom-based groove, which sounds a little something like this. After four, one, two, three, four. And there we have it guys. So it's a two bar phrase, which we repeat twice, and that would be the whole of the top line done, the whole of the intro done. Basically our right hand is just playing a straight eight rhythm down here. If this was written over on the hi-hat, it would be much easier to read and you guys would probably figure out much quicker, but because it's over on the floor tom, everything just looks a little bit peculiar because the bass drum, the floor tom and the snare drum are all very close. So it's hard to separate those sometimes. But the right hand is just keeping a solid eight beat pattern going and the left hand is going to be hitting the snare drum but also moving up to the high tom at one point and then each bar finishes with a little mid tom as well. So if I just break down the first half of the rhythm it would sound like this. So the bass drum is playing a couple of bass independence notes, a couple of in-between notes. We're going to get one and a two and a, one and a two and a. Or if you're counting the eighth note, it would be one, two and three, four and. One, two and three, four and. So you're going to have a couple of basses all on their own in between. It's going to happen after the second floor tom and after the fourth floor tom. There we go guys, hopefully that makes sense. The second half of the beat is where the movement with the left hand comes. We are gonna get a lemonade between the floor tom and high tom. And then the snare drum is gonna come back in on the four. And then we get this little floor mid tom combination going on. So basically the two drinks we have there would be lemonade hot chocolate, lemonade, hot chocolate, or maybe you'd prefer to count that three E and four and a, three E and four and a, or possibly you could even count that five and six, seven, eight and. So let's hear that again, lemonade, hot chocolate. Now from a bass perspective, we are just gonna have the bass hitting on the lemonade on that last floor tom. So that would be the end of bar one. Let's hear that all together. Remember the first half was. Then the second half. So combined we would get. So the left hand's got to be ready to make those movements. Now bar two is virtually the same as that. The only difference being that that first in-between bass back on the first bar is no longer there. Or maybe you could even think the second bass of that bar is no longer there. So rather than going, we just have a very simple So as you can hear, it's really only one bass drum difference there between the first and the second bar. So don't forget, in the second bar, drop out one of those basses. Everything else is the same. Let's hear that second bar one more time.
And what you guys are gonna find is that your left hand is gonna wanna move at the wrong points. All kinds of little things like that are gonna happen. You just gotta be really careful, slow it down, break it down, and make sure you're doing the right bits in the right places. So let's hear both bars together now. There we go guys, I hope that makes sense. That's all gonna be mezzo forte medium loud. So as tempting as it is to come in really big and heavy, you've gotta maybe just hold that back a little bit. There's the intro done guys. Then what we wanna do is gradually maybe speed that up a little bit.